Now, we will see the spectral series of hydrogen atom. When an atom is excited, then the electron rises to a higher energy level. Uh, generally, these higher energy levels are unstable and the electron tends to fall into the lower energy level. In the process, energy is emitted in the form of uh, radiation. The energy of each photon is equal to the difference in the energy levels. Uh, so, in this particular case, uh, let us say you are having a hydrogen atom with uh, two given energy level. Uh, let us say N 1 and N 2 be the number of energy levels. Let us say E 1 or E N 1 is the energy for the first energy level and E N 2 for the second energy level. Now, initially if the electron is in the second energy level somewhere here that is uh, the atom is in excited state therefore, the electron is in the higher energy level. A transition may take place from higher energy level to lower energy level in this fashion and then the difference in the energies is emitted in the form of photon. This photon has an energy of h nu which is equal to the difference in the energy levels that is E n 2 minus E n 1 energy is conserved the difference in the energy levels must be equal to the energy of the photon that is emitted. Now, uh, we know that uh, the equation for the energy level the energy of an electron inside a particular orbit E n 1 can be given by minus m e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h square n 1 square. We have seen this expression in uh, postulates of uh, Bohr's atom and uh, you can see we are substituting simply n 1 value there in place of n we have substituted n 1 that is the expression. Similarly, we can uh, what you say obtain expression for the energy in the second energy level E n 2 as uh, minus m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h square n 2 square. What we require here is a difference in the two energy levels that is E n 2 minus E n 1. Once you know that one you can equate it to uh, h nu and try to find out the frequency of the emitted radiation. So, this will be equal to m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h square multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. That is a value which you get uh, there is no minus sign because uh, instead of n 2 minus n 1 here we have written n 1 and uh, the n 2 on the other side. So, you got that expression and uh, so this expression e n 2 minus e n 1 will be equal to m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h square multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square that is the expression which we can equate it to h nu and uh, find out the frequency of the radiation. So, uh, this will be this expression can be written as h nu equal to m e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h square multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. And because E n 2 minus E n 1 is equal to h nu. So, from that we can also write expression for nu the frequency of the emitted radiation as m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h cube multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Now, we can write this nu as equal to c by lambda also here lambda stands for the wavelength of the emitted radiation and c for the velocity of light. We know that c is equal to lambda nu. So, from that I can write expression for nu as uh, c by lambda. So, that is how you got c by lambda here this is equated to m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h cube multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Now, from that if I write expression for 1 by lambda this comes out to be m e power 4 
8 epsilon naught square h cube c this c comes on this side and this is multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. That is the expression for 1 by lambda where lambda stands for the wavelength. Now, this 1 by lambda is also called wave number uh, generally represented by nu bar. So, the wave number nu bar is also given by this expression which we will write here nu bar is equal to m e power 4 divided by 8 epsilon naught square h cube c multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. Here n 1 and n 2 uh, represents the numbers of uh, the orbits or energy levels. Next uh, if you observe that expression m most uh, is the mass of electron, e is the charge of electron, h is Planck's constant, epsilon naught is permittivity constant and c is velocity of light. All of them are constants. So, you can substitute those values and get uh, uh, the resulting value uh, that is uh, nothing but this whole thing is uh, represented by a constant called a Rydberg constant r. This expression is written as r multiplied by 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square where r stands for the entire constant that is this much m e power 4 8 epsilon naught square h cube c and r is nothing but Rydberg constant. The value of this Rydberg constant is 1.09 multiplied by 10 power 7 meter inverse is the unit that is Rydberg constant 1.09 into 10 power 7 meter inverse. So, this can be used to determine the uh, wavelengths of uh, spectral lines spectral series that are obtained in hydrogen spectrum. See when you take the hydrogen spectrum a series of lines are obtained which are not evenly distributed each set of lines is known as a spectral series and hydrogen spectrum consists of a number of spectral series and they are named of uh, various scientists uh, uh, which we will see now those uh, spectral series of hydrogen atom. Now, this is the empirical formula for uh, uh, the wave number nu bar is equal to r into 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square here r stands for Rydberg constant and uh, he, uh, one more thing is n 2 should be always greater than n 1 because N 2 stands for the higher energy level and N 1 stands for the lower energy level. Now, based on this one uh, we will have a number of spectral series first one is uh, Lyman series. See this series is obtained series of lines are obtained when uh, electron undergoes a transition from any higher energy level to the first energy level the picture is something like this let us say this is the first energy level and uh, you are having a number of higher energy levels something like this and so on. Theoretically speaking the energy levels can be up to infinity also. Now, uh, if an electron this is first energy level let us say E 1 this is E 2 E 3 and so on. Now, if an electron undergoes a transition from uh, any higher energy level to the first energy level then the corresponding spectral lines is known as Lyman series. So, that transition can be uh, what you say shown graphically in this manner you can see the electron may be undergoing transition from second level to first level or third to first level or fourth to first level and so on. So, all these spectral lines are known as Lyman series. Now, for example, if I take uh, in this particular case Lyman series n 1 should always be equal to 1 whereas, n 2 can be anything greater than 1 that is you can start from 2, 3 and so on. Generally, you can calculate the wavelength or uh, wave number for uh, first member of Lyman series and uh, second member, third member and so on. For example, if you want to calculate wavelength of uh, the first member of uh, Lyman series, what we will be doing is in this formula we will be substituting uh, n 1 equal to 1, n 2 equal to 2 
that will become the first member like uh, n1 is equal to 1 and n2 equal to 2. In such case, nu bar becomes r multiplied by 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4. So, that will give you 3 by 4 r. So, in that way you can calculate a nu bar once you know this one it is nothing but 1 by lambda and that is equal to 3 by 4 r. You can substitute r value 1.09 into 10 power 7 and then find out lambda value from that one. In that way you can determine the wavelength of uh, the first member of a Lyman series and so on. Uh, you can calculate second member also and uh, there is a limiting for every series of spectral lines. For example, limiting uh, value or limiting member can be calculated uh, like this. For the limiting member of uh, Lyman series, n2 is taken as infinity. n1 is always equal to 1 for Lyman series, but n2 is the last uh, final member that is uh, infinity. In such case, if you substitute n2 as e infinity, 1 by infinity becomes 0. So, you are left with the uh, nu bar is equal to r multiplied by 1 minus 0 that will be equal to r. This is nothing but 1 by lambda equal to r. From that, you can calculate lambda as 1 by r. We know that r value which is a constant, substituting that value, you can calculate the value of lambda the wavelength of the last member or limiting member of Lyman series. So, the spectral lines that lies between uh, this first member to the last member is known as Lyman series. The next uh, spectral series in uh, hydrogen spectra is the uh, Balmer series. In this case, uh, if an electron undergoes a transition from any higher energy level to the second level, then the corresponding spectral series is known as Balmer series. It is something like this. Let us say there are n number of a large number of uh, energy levels E1, E2, E3, E4 and so on. Next, uh, this is uh, the second energy level E2. Now, if at all any electron undergoes a transition from higher energy level to the second energy level, something like this, then the corresponding series is known as Balmer series. These spectral lines are known as Balmer series of spectrum lines. So, that is the thing. So, in this case, in this case of uh, Balmer series, n1 is always taken as equal to 2 and n2 can be anything greater than this 2 that is it can be 3, 4 and so on. Now, if you want to calculate uh, the first member of Balmer series, what we need to do is uh, n1 should be 2 that is fixed for Balmer series, n2 should be taken as 3 for the first member. In such case, if you substitute in this formula that is empirical formula for the wave number of the spectral series, then nu bar is equal to r multiplied by 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9. So, that will give you 5 r by 36 that is the wave number of the first member. Uh, this is nothing but 1 by lambda. So, naturally from that you can calculate lambda value of the first member of the Balmer series. You can also calculate the last member or limiting member by taking this value n2 as infinity. So, that this becomes 0. So, finally, you will get a new bar as uh, r by 4 that is for the last member or limiting member. That is the last member of the series in such case, you will take n2 as infinity and substitute there. What you will get is a nu bar is equal to r multiplied by 1 by 4 minus 0. That will give you r by 4. That is a value of nu bar. Once you know nu bar value, you can calculate lambda, the wavelength of the limiting member in this case. 
Next one is Pasteur series. When an electron undergoes a transition from any higher level to the third energy level, then the corresponding spectral series is known as Pasteur series. It can be shown graphically something like this. You are having a number of energy levels E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and so on. Now, uh, past in series can be obtained uh, when electron undergoes a transition from any higher level to the third level. This is the third energy level E3. So, this spectral series, particular series is known as Paschen series. So, in this particular case what we will be doing is N1 value is taken as uh, 3 and N2 can be anything higher than 3 that is 4, 5 and so on. Next, uh, using this one, you can calculate the first member, second member and till that one, last member also that is limiting member also we can calculate the wavelengths. In this case, in case of first member, the value of N1 is taken as 3 and the value of N2 is taken as 4. In such case, if you substitute in our empirical formula for the wave number, you will get nu bar equal to R into 1 by 9 minus 1 by 16 that will give you 7 r by 144. Once you know nu bar value, you can also calculate the wavelength because it is simply reciprocal of the wavelength. And in case of limiting member or the last member, what we will be doing is we will take uh, n2 as infinity n1 is always 3 for passion series, n2 in this case last member can be taken as infinity. If you substitute here, what you will get is uh, nu bar is equal to r multiplied by 1 by 9 minus 0, that will give you r by 9. So, from that we can calculate uh, uh, the wavelength of the limiting member of the series. Bracket series. In this series, this series is obtained uh, when an electron undergoes a transition from any higher level to the fourth energy level, then the corresponding series is known as bracket series. It is something like this. Let us say you have a large number of uh, energy levels. So, this is E1, E2, E3, E4 and so on. What we require is a transition into the fourth energy level that is this level. So, transition can be taken place from any higher level that is fifth level or sixth level or any higher level. The corresponding series, this series of lines which you are getting is known as bracket series. So, in this particular case, the value of n1 is taken as 4, whereas n2 can have any values from 5 and above, because n2 should always be greater than n1 value. So, n2 can be 5, 6, 7 and so on. So, if you want to calculate the first member of the series, then what we will be doing is uh, n1 is always 4 for bracket series, n2 should be taken as 5 that will give you the first member. You can substitute these values of n1 and n2 here, get the value of nu bar that is wave number. From that you can also calculate the wavelength of the first member. Next, uh, the last member can also be calculated by taking n1 value to be 4 that is fixed for bracket series and n2 value should be taken as infinity that is the last member substitute there and get the value of uh, the last member, you can calculate the wavelength of the limiting member or last member of the spectral series that is bracket series. Fund series, uh, this series is obtained when electron undergoes a transition from any higher level to the fifth energy level, then the corresponding spectral series is known as fund series. We can show this uh, in this manner, consider a number of energy levels. E1, E2, 
e4 e5 and so on now the transition should take place to the fifth energy level from any higher level that is you can have a transition like this or like this and so on the resulting series spectral series is known as a fund series that is how you can obtain fund series so here the first member can be calculated using n1 value to be taken as 5 n2 value should be taken as 6 substitute these values in empirical formula for the wave number and you will get the value of the wave number accordingly you can calculate the wavelength of uh, the corresponding uh, member the first member of fund series next the limiting member or the last member can also be calculated using in this case n1 should be taken as phi that is fixed for fund series and n2 value to be taken as infinity so you can substitute these values in the given expression and find out the value of nu bar and accordingly you can calculate the wavelength of the limiting member or last member of fund series now what they have observed is uh, the first series that is uh, Lyman series in ultraviolet region the wavelengths obtained in uh, Lyman series are in ultraviolet region whereas the second one the Balmer series is in uh, visible region next uh, the Pastian series in infrared region the bracket series and fund series they are in far infrared region so these are the spectral series of hydrogen atom Rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment shows that uh, the entire positive charge of an atom and most of its mass is concentrated in a very small region and uh, that particular region is known as a nucleus the nucleus constitutes uh, two particles one is uh, neutrons and another is protons put together we call them as nucleons that is consider this one as a, a nucleus you are having a particles called a protons inside this one and you are also having a neutrons put together these two we can call them as nucleons a nucleon means uh, it can be either a proton or a neutron a proton is electrically positive charge whereas a neutron is electrically neutral generally any nucleus can be represented using uh, this symbol xza in that x stands for the chemical symbol of the particular nucleus chemical symbol of the nucleus next z stands for atomic number this atomic number is nothing but uh, uh, the number of protons that are present in the nucleus next a stands for mass number this mass number gives you the total number of nucleons within the nucleus that is uh, the total number of protons and neutrons put together that number is known as mass number now if you want to calculate the uh, number of neutrons obviously this must be a minus z total number of nucleons minus the number of protons will give you the number of neutrons that are present in the nucleus so this is the basic uh, you can say introduction for the nucleus